we expect people to follow through on the obligations of the UN sanctions and our sanctions programs. To what extent is Russia helping North Korea evade the sanctions? Uh, I'm not going to make any comments specifically on that other than to say that uh, obviously Russia and China are two countries that have traded with them and we are working actively with both of those. But I don't want to leave here without emphasizing, you haven't asked me yet, we are working on Russia sanctions. I can assure you that is in the process. Uh, I will be back here within the next uh, several weeks to talk about that. But uh, again, I just want to emphasize, uh, I think, you know, under Section 241, uh, okay, we did deliver both the unclassified and classified report. And as I've repeatedly said, uh, we are working on sanctions as a follow-up to that. Again, as it relates to North Korea, we're looking everybody the same. So the the ability that we have under North Korea is not differentiated by country. We've done, we've done over 100 sanctions under our Ukraine and Russia uh, abilities that we've done since the President's been in office. We will continue to look at those abilities, as well as the authority we've been given under CATSA, which I think you know had huge bipartisan support, and election meddling. Thank you very much. <laughs>